and then Greg Biffle and Terry Labonte. Nemechek in the wall hard with Casey Mears. Turn one. Mears was having some kind of problem right there. And Kyle Busch has spun off the backstretch. Hit hard back there, too. Something was wrong with the 41 car. He'd been just falling back, falling back. I'm not sure what his problems were. And I know Kyle Busch in the five, as well as Joe Nemechek in the 01, they were two cars that elected to pit on that last caution. Casey Mears stayed out. Casey Mears has had the worst luck in the world of anybody at Bristol, Tennessee. Kyle Busch, who spun in practice, or spun on his qualifying attempt, rather, spinning at the same spot, turn two. Watch the 0-1 of Nemechek. Let's see what happened here. I believe, uh, I think what's going to happen here is he got into uh, Nemechek, spins Nemechek, and he cuts down the five's right rear tire. Oh. And he doesn't know it until he gets over to turn two. Casey Mears in the 41 just had nowhere to go. A lot of parts flying out from that 41 car. Which we don't have soft walls down the front straight away. On the inside. Have them down the back, back on the inside, but not on the front. Then at turn two, Kyle Busch loses control after that contact with Nemechek. But I believe you're right, DW. I believe he had a tire that was going down or cut down by the 01 car. Right. Casey Mears is okay. This is the second week in a row that he has been tagged or gotten into it in the first 25 laps. This is so typical Bristol. You're going to wreck eight or 10 cars in the first 25 or 30 laps. Then we'll go green and we may go green forever. 